Shalom. This is Mary Omni from the World Government House of King David, Holy Covenant Constitutional Enforcer. This is a Republic Notice. The title of this Republic Notice is called Answer. Answer to Black Women. We owe black men an apology. Citing the B biblical book in chapters Ezra, Ezra chapters 9 and 10. Now, there's some black women on the internet and they want some popularity and they want to, um, they might really feel in their heart that we owe black men an apology. And, and a lot of them is just looking for attention. A lot of them just want to get some kind of internet pulse going on. Whatever their angle and whatever their purpose, they better understand in 2013, it's judgment time, okay? It is judgment time, okay? Apology, whatever you think you owe, you better understand the Bible and not jump out. Not jump out ahead of you and your duty to God Almighty. See, you better think about your duty to owing God Almighty an apology for following the traditions of men. The same traditions that led our black female asses into slavery. Following these men and talking about apologies while they're fornicating with foreign nations, foreign gods, and foreign women, and showing the world that they don't want to be bothered with your ass or your apology. Okay? We got a lot of these male, these male uh, uh, propagandas for Satan on the internet. Always talking about black women, always putting black women down, even the black women who come to apologize. They sometimes they say they looking for a chicken dinner. See, that's how they're thinking. So you coming with this apology because you cannot fix fix these sins. Only God Almighty can fix these sins. So you need to apologize to God Almighty. For trying to step in his position, talking about you owe someone is now under judgment an apology. You need to look yourself in the mirror and apologize to yourself. Because after all, you're 70% alone raising children. Apologize to yourself for not having enough compassion for yourself. And then looking outside yourself, talking about you owe somebody who had abandoned you at a 70% rate an apology. Now, Bobby Hemet did a video, and he has several videos about these black men and all these foreign women. One of them, he talking about 70% of them running in Hollywood is in interracial relationships, and he does you a great service. He lists all these men. Is 70% of Hollywood is interracial. A black black males go are interracial in interracial relationship, and he does a list of all these Hollywood blacks that's in this interracial relationship. He is doing what the Most High will want him to do: to list these criminals, to list these criminals, not make an in general apology to black men. See, when you apologize to somebody and you're doing it in a generalization, you're apologizing to sin. You're apologizing to sin in general. Because most of these apologies is not to black, holy, covenant, uh, uh, covenant status men. They just say they apologize to black men in general. So you apologize to a whole bunch of sin and betrayal in front of the world. Now, Bobby Hemmett, as I said, has a list of those in Hollywood with all this mixing. And he says it don't make no sense. And he tells you why. But Ezra chapter 9 and 10, and I'm just going to go over a couple verses of the chapter 9. 
to let you know what Ezra is about. This is chapter 9, 1. When these, now, when these things were done, the princes came to me, saying, The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, and the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. Ezra 9, 2. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Yeah, the hand of the princes and the rulers hath been chief in this transpass. Ezra 9, 3. And when I heard this thing, I rent my garment and my mantle and plucked off the hair of my head and of my beard and sat astonished. Okay. Chapter 9 and 10 goes into what you must do in this judgment to begin to access the anger and humility of the kingdom for all these transpasses. Now, I have a, a couple videos. One is called Black Vaginal Envy. I suggest check that out. Black Vaginal Envy. And another one is called uh, Did Eve Cause the Fall of Man? Because we have here in Ezra, and in Ezra, it's saying and it's listing all the men, all the men who served foreign gods, foreign women, created foreign children with Babylon. It went through a list. And this is what we got to do now. Bobby Hemet led the direction of you listing these people. List these people. Uh, participate in this video. Start listing them on the videos. List the ones in your own family, in your family Bible. List the ones who are not with Judah women. List all of them partakers of foreign woman, mixed breed, mingling the holy seed with mix and making mixed breeds because they're jumping over the new Jerusalem wall. And that means they have none of our inheritance, none of our inheritance. The Isaiah 57 describes these women they have in his children by as a sorceress and a whore and him as an adulterer and their bastard children are not accepted in the kingdom for 10 generations 10 generations the holy kingdom will accept Edom back after only three generations the holy kingdom would accept the Hamites and Cushites back after only three generations but these black men you want to give an apology to, the kingdom don't want anything to do with them or their children or their bastard children for 10 generations. That means these black men are bondmen and they still have to serve the Judah kingdom for 10 generations. 10 generations, them and their children are going into bondage. Even, even if it just leaves, if it just leaves eight people like Noah who took on the boat. But we have more than eight people because the Most High promised a guaranteed 144,000. And these are the front line first fruit. But we have more than that. But I'm saying that is a guarantee. So we're here to gain, believe it or not. Now look at Ezra chapter 10. And I'm going to read the first couple verses. Now, when Ezra had prayed and when he confessed, weeping and casting himself down before the house of God, there assembled unto him out of Israel a very great congregation of men and women and children, for the people wept very sore. And the Shekinah, the son of Jehel, one of the sons of Elam answered and said unto Ezra, We have transpassed against our Lord and have taken strange wives 
of the people of the land. Yet now there is hope in Israel concerning this thing. Now, therefore, let us make a covenant with our God to put away, put away the wives and such as are born of them, according to the counsel of my Lord and those that tremble at the commandment of our God and let it be done according to the law. Arise, for this matter belongeth unto thee. We also will be with thee. Be of good courage and do it. Do it. Put away the foreign wives and foreign children. Else go into bondage with them. Because see, we already got the covenant called the Constitution. And when this black man is not with his black Judah woman, the namesake of God Almighty, first fruit, daughters of God, he has jumped over the Jerusalem wall into bondage. So the Constitution separates him and his children from the holy nation this time. This time, Jack, he separated from us. He is separated from us. So all we got to do is say, what woman is he with? That's why we don't have to say who, my, whether Michael Jackson was a father, a past prince, and that other, and, and blanket. We, all we had to know is their mother is not Judah. That's why all the wealth reverted back to Catherine and Joe Jackson. And, they, and so they could use these children, but these children are bond children. The Bible tells you straight up. They're bond children and they're put away by the hand of God Almighty. They have no contractual rights whatsoever. They are born in destitution, contractual destitution of bondage. And therefore, in Ezra, tells you to make a list because we don't want these bond children or these Malachi 211 cut off black men claiming none of the wealth. All the basketball players, all the singers, all of them, all they got right now is the energy of Satan Fowlers. Otherwise, they are destitute, they are in bondage, and they're, they are contractly destitute. They're outside of the Holy Covenant, and they done made blood contracts with debtors and bonders of dung who have no covenant constitutionality on American soil or in the world. So therefore, get all the millions because guess what? Guess what? The Constitution, 1 through 14, black woman, and, and, and the 15 holy covenant black men own everything the Kobe Bryant's got, the Quincy Jones, any basketball player that's not with a Judah woman. We own all their property, all their wealth by supreme contract. Yeah, hold on to your Satan phallus for the time you have left and suck it hard. This is Mary Omni from the House of King David. Shalom. Make the list. Make the list of these infidels. This is Mary Omni from the House of King David. Shalom.